Caroline with Growing San Diego. I am on a flight coming into San Diego and I want to show you what our neighborhoods look like from a high up above and how important it is that we grow green trees and bushes and we have water features in our homes and um, in our communities to feed the pollinators and the wildlife. So as we drive over, take a look. You're going to see industrial uh, areas that are white, you know, with the long, big, huge uh, roofs. Way over there, you're going to see some uh, water, some lakes. Uh, you're going to see, uh, here we come up to Miramar. And you can look at uh, the open spaces are down here. Look at the residential development. And usually in those residential developments, one was way over there. Let's see here. Um, look at you won't see many trees look down here you don't see many trees you don't see many spaces where the birds and the butterflies and the pollinators can actually live so really want hope that um, this gives you a really good perspective look at these canyons in the city of san diego so those are kind of what you call pollinator pathways over here we have the, the river that runs through that again is a pollinator pathway but look at the neighborhoods over here so many areas where folks in san diego can be growing bushes growing trees um, creating a sustainable wildlife little um, area in their own home and look at even in the industrial and commercial areas that we're flying over right now look how barren that is and that's you know gives you a good bird's eye view of why we have um, we are having, you know, concern over the pollinators and the wildlife, and we're, you know, we don't want them to go extinct, but there, a lot of them are in danger. And look at the big open space over there, in Miramar, where this green area is. The Mira Mesa. Um, you know, these are. Look at these open spaces. Now, this is a nice housing development where you've got. Oh, let's see down, down over here. Where, you know, you've got a nice balance here of residential, but look at the green trees. Over here, there's a beautiful golf course, uh, getting ready to come out to Lake Murray. But again, look at these areas where all the homes are. It'd be wonderful if we could get and inspire folks to definitely try to grow more trees in their yards that are low maintenance, that are native. They're not gonna be invasive and get as much into the roots the watering systems as some of these invasive exotic trees do. So we're coming over to, uh, I think, San Carlos area, and we're going to be right over Lake Murray, and then we're into Santee, you know, over, over here. So, uh, yeah, again, this is Caroline with Growing San Diego. I hope you're inspired by this video and how important it is that every plant, every bush that we grow in our own communities in San Diego will help increase the pollinators. That's Lake Murray down there. Let's see? Look how beautiful and green that is. Take a bike ride around Lake Murray someday if you haven't done it recently or a walk. And you'll see all the pollinators and the wildlife there. It's really wonderful. So alright, keep growing San Diego and hope you get to it's out and about and get to see some more of these lakes and uh, reservoirs that we have in San Diego, and this will encourage you to, to grow more native plants in your area. Keep growing San Diego.